Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how the friction wheel system works on your snowblower. What I've got in front of me is a transmission from a snowblower and by having it off the snowblower like this it's going to be a lot easier for me to show you the parts inside and how they work. And I've even got the belly pan off and the wheels there just to show you a simulation of exactly how it does work. Here's where your friction disc is and the friction wheel is down here and they're made that they connect together once you apply pressure to them and here's how that works. Now here's a closer view of these two parts. As you can see there's no contact between the wheel and the disc therefore the wheels are not going to turn when you turn the wheel here. But when you push down the drive lever on your snowblower like this and hold it down what that does is it lifts the friction wheel. Your cables connected over here and as you can see, the friction wheel is going to touch the friction disc. And when you let go, it goes back down. So you got to have a good contact like that so that they don't slip. Now what powers the wheel here is the motor. And you can see down on this wheel that there's a groove for a belt. So the drive belt goes into this pulley here, which is part of the friction wheel. And then the motor powers it and spins it. So when you're holding the drive lever like this, it's going to connect over here. It's going to turn and make the disc turn like that. And you're going to notice that the wheels are turning now. So basically it's called a friction disc because it works on the principle of friction. If this is greasy or that the ring is worn out, it's not going to work because the friction is going to be gone. It's just going to slip. Well, it's a pretty simple design and it does the job actually. Now this is an MTD transmission but on other snow blowers it's the same principle. You may have a few more gears or even chains in some of them. Some may have a sprocket on the shaft and it goes to another sprocket on the drive wheel but they will still have a friction wheel system like that. Now on this MTD blower here, you can replace just the friction disc rubber like that by taking the bolts apart. I do have a video if you go to my channel that shows how to do that. And when you turn the wheels and your blower's not in use, it's going to turn the friction disc, but not the wheel down here. It's a pretty simple design. You should always check your snowblower at the beginning of each winter to make sure that these parts are in good condition because if they're not, you could be left without a drive during the winter time. Also, you're going to find the same principle with the friction drive on many different lawn tractors, especially older ones. So just remember that these parts have to be absolutely clean and free of oil and dirt for them to work properly. So thanks again for watching. I'm always posting new videos, so make sure to subscribe. Take care now.